Hello audience. Now some of you have been asking about this car, what's happened to it. Now my original plan was for the next video to be after it was painted and I'd show you reassembling it. However, the repaint has been taking a lot longer than expected. So in this video I'm going to show you the current status on it and what's been going on. Now in this time we did manage to get all the fenders and aprons painted. Now when you're doing a complete repaint on not just a Model A but any car from this time that has separate fenders, there's something you may not notice at first but you certainly do when you start working on it is there's a lot more surface on it to paint than a modern car. Now, for example, on a modern car you have the outside of the body, the outside of the hood, and the front fenders. With this, you have the outside of the body, the outside of the hood, both sides of the front fenders, both sides of the rear fenders, and three splash aprons. Another big thing is most modern cars have reasonably flat panels that have little to no creases or anything to them. The Model A is completely the opposite. Every single panel has a bead on it somewhere, and if you're painting it with two colors like we're doing with this, a lot of masking needs to be done around all those beads. So there's several hours of just taping off all this stuff to paint the second color. And in addition to that, all of these beads everywhere need to be sanded and buffed after painted, and you got to do it really carefully to not burn holes through the paint. So there's a lot more to it. You can really get overwhelmed pretty quickly if you're not ready for it. So normally what we do with these cars is divide them in two sections. The fenders and aprons are one section, the body and the hood are another section. Now with this car, for example, when it was time to start repainting it, we completely ignored the body and the hood and just went after the fenders and aprons until they were done, which we did, and now we're working on the body. The front fenders are finished and are just setting in place right now. The rear fenders have been painted and sanded in 2000 grit, ready to be buffed. We've been working on the body for quite a while, trying to get all the little dents and waves out of it, which there were plenty of on the quarter panels, and a little bit of that on the back panel. So I've been priming and block sanding everything, and as we go we've discovered the back panel on the roof also had a few little minor issues which needed to be filled and sanded out. As you can see this has all been primed. It's got the guide coat and is ready to be block sanded. The good news is from about here forward there's not much anything else wrong with it. The inside has already been primed and that's good to go. It's ready to paint. The tops of the hood also have been primered and guide coated and they're ready to be block sanded. Now some of this is ready to paint, some of it will be in a few days. Now the original plan was we're going to match the color that's on it so that we don't have to paint the inside of the body, the door jams, the inside of the tank, the firewall, because that's going to save a lot of hard work and there's nothing really wrong with the paint on those surfaces anyway. The problem is it requires a pretty good match to the paint that's already on here and we've been having trouble getting that. Now this is the old back panel. This is the color that was on it. Now whoever painted it they were trying to go for Ford Maroon which as you can see from the color chip it is close. The problem is this has more red in it than this. This is a little more brown. I think whoever was mixing this, they just either didn't have the right toners to start with or didn't really know how to mix it. So, like I said, it's a little more brown. So we had a color match done, and I guess whoever was doing it thought it was supposed to be brown and used the toners to make brown, and it didn't really come out all that well. So we tried playing with the matched color we got, adding more red to it to try to get it a little closer to this, 
and we ended up getting it closer to the factory color. Now over here is the matched color that we adjusted and sprayed on, and we matched it to Ford Maroon Medium. It's not a factory color for the 30 Deluxe Coupe. It's a little more rich, and it's going to make it look a little brighter while looking completely stock. So we're going to go with that. All right, it's a few days later. We got the hood tops painted that color that we matched, and they're looking pretty good. Now, yes, I know, they don't have the belt color on them yet. This is more of a test than anything else. So we probably are going to go with this color. We'll see. Well, that's where we are with this project right now. Now hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll get the rest of it painted and we'll start reassembling it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.